I am at the Mount Wilson Observatory high in the Angeles Crest National Forest. This is the first time I've been here and I am really excited. I know very little about Mount Wilson Observatory. I know that it was built as a research facility versus Griffith Observatory, which was built for the public's enjoyment. But they have two uh, docent-led tours every Saturday and Sunday, $15. The tours are about two and a half hours and we will get to explore everything. So pretty excited about that. You don't have to go on the tour. You can come up here and just walk around the grounds and in the public areas for free. But I wanted to know everything about the place, so I'm opting for the tour. Mount Wilson is about an hour north of Los Angeles. These directions are from my home in Burbank, but you can see Griffith Observatory and downtown Los Angeles to give you an overall sense of where it is. It's 5,700 feet above sea level. Now my car does not like altitudes like this, and I thought I might have to turn around, but I was only five miles from Mount Wilson, so, I coaxed my car and we made it. They have a couple of parking lots. It wasn't very busy the day I was there. Then it's a short walk up to this covered area. If you are hungry or thirsty once you get up here, they have the Cosmic Cafe where you can get a meal and eat at one of the picnic tables here or get bottled water or a soda or whatever you want. I got my ticket from this makeshift souvenir store and started the tour. Mount Wilson was founded by George Ellery Hale in 1904. He was fascinated with the sun and light and that is how this got started. He wanted to have a solar telescope and then he had two and then he added some astronomy telescopes. So. And this is pretty incredible from one man's love of the sun. Almost every major discovery in cosmology and astronomy in the 20th century was made here at Mount Wilson. That gives you an idea of how important this facility was. This is the Astronomical Museum. It is free and open to the public, so let's go see what they have. The museum is small, packed with info. They have photos in here from the solar telescopes. As well as from the astronomy telescopes. And this is really cool. These are documents and letters that have been written and documented here. <laughs> Across from the museum are the stairs that take you up to the 150 foot solar telescope. This is the 150 foot solar telescope. This was the second telescope here at Mount Wilson. It takes light from the top down through the shaft. It's not open to the public unless you take the tour. I would highly recommend it. Here's a diagram that shows how the telescope works. It splits the sun's rays into a spectrum. The astronomer used a lens to reflect the solar spectrum onto the back wall, replicating what the telescope does. Then they study the spectrum as well as document sunspots. This is a photo of the largest sunspot recorded in history by this telescope in 1947. Sunspot drawings are done manually. Every sunny day since 1917, including now, an astronomer has hand-drawn sunspot activity from this telescope. Next, we headed over to the 60-foot snow telescope. It doesn't look at snow. <laughs> 
and this is the 60 foot snow solar telescope now this is a horizontal refractor telescope the light comes in and refracts off of a mirror which then beams it in scotty refracts off another mirror and then they're able to get a spectrogram and uh, learn a lot about light from that <laughs> I am pretty sure I am not explaining this well. This is also not open to the public unless you take the tour. After the 60-foot solar telescope, we walked over to the 60-inch astronomy telescope. For comparison, the public telescope at Griffith Observatory is a 12-inch telescope. So this is much more powerful and was the world's largest and most powerful telescope at the time. It was completed in 1908 with funding from Andrew Carnegie. In 1910, Carnegie visited the observatory and through the telescope, he saw this image of Halley's Comet. The event for Carnegie was momentous and he provided more funding for Mount Wilson. The Carnegie Institute to this day holds a lease with the U.S. Forest Service for Mount Wilson Observatory. This 60-inch telescope was the most powerful in the world until 1917, when Mount Wilson opened its 100-inch telescope, which was our next stop. This bridge is called the Bridge to the Stars because it leads over to the 100-inch Hooker Telescope, which was the largest telescope in the world for many years. Albert Einstein stood in this very spot in 1931. He was joined by Edwin Hubble and a number of other noted astrophysicists and astronomers yeah <laughs> very cool normally the interior of this telescope isn't open to the public but it was today for an art show there were a couple of cool things to see on the way up these are all the telephones they have had here <laughs> it's quite a collection this is called the Hubble chair. It's the chair that Hubble sat in. You can see a photo of him here. This is not just the room where it happened, but the chair where it happened. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> Edwin Hubble discovered the expansion of the universe and he did it on this telescope. Notice how dark it is in here? And then it starts getting lighter. They're opening the dome. I am not sure if this is part of the tour or not, but this is really cool. This entire platform is moving. This is so cool. <laughs> this wasn't part of the tour. I'm not sure why they did it, but the platform did a complete 360 degree rotation. There were some other exhibits in the Hooker Dome. Here's a note written by astronomer Wendell Hogue on the first night this telescope was used. He writes that famed British poet Alfred Noyes was the only visitor to observe this event. This is the original astronomer's desk. Precision timekeeping for our astronomical observations is critical. The phone was used to stay in contact with colleagues in other parts of the observatory or to relay instructions to the telescope operator. This desk is where they would note their observations. And they're closing the door again. That was so cool, so unexpected. Yeah, worth it. <laughs>
The tour is over. It's five o'clock and it's time to head out. And this was fantastic. I would highly recommend the tour, but definitely come up to Mount Wilson if you're in LA. It is full of beauty and history. Find your adventure. Thank you for watching.